And we are back. Welcome to a brand new mini series on the channel. This week we're going to have three prediction videos covering all of the championship playoff semi finals and eventual final. This video will be covering the two semi final first legs that are taking place tomorrow lunchtime slash afternoon between Norwich, Leeds, West Brom and Southampton. Now, some of you may be wondering why I haven't done League One and League Two. To be honest with you, it's just because I have no real knowledge about what's been going on in those leagues. And I feel like I have to try and provide you with the most honest and realistic content I possibly can. And my knowledge of League One and League Two is basically non-existent, where I do have a vested interest in the championship. Obviously, as a partial Luton Town fan, Luton have been in the championship for a while, up until this season being in the Premier League. And of course, these sides all feed into the Premier League provided whichever one ends up winning. So I do have some knowledge about what has been going on in the championship. And what I have to say before we even get into this is that normally when it comes to the playoffs, you always want to talk about the sides that are in form. But going into this match, going into these semi-finals, the last five matches for these four teams, i.e. the last 20 matches that these five, these four teams have played, there has only been six victories for these four teams. So six wins out of 20 matches going into the playoffs. So realistically, all four of these teams are out of form going into this, which makes it even more fascinating than it would normally be because you just don't really know what's going to happen. But I'm going to do my best. And as always, if you do enjoy these predictions, let me know by dropping a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Like I said, we're going to be doing this today. We will do it next week ahead of the second legs. And of course, we'll be bringing you the predictions for the final as well. I may do the League One and League Two playoff final based off of how the results go in their respective semifinals. We shall see. But without any further ado, let's get straight into it. The playoff semifinals are taking place tomorrow. And we'll start off with the earlier kickoff between Norwich and Leeds United. Now... For me, I think Leeds are on paper the strongest side going into this these playoffs. They've obviously got the player of the year in Crescencio Somerville, who, to be honest, probably shouldn't have won player of the year because it should have been Smodzic from Blackburn and quite how he hasn't won it, I don't really know. But they have the player who's won player of the year. They also have the young player of the year in Archie Gray. And just their all-round play is very, very good to watch at times. They're obviously a high possession team, but then when they get it out to the wire players, the likes of Somerville, the likes of Nonto, creating the damage as well. They have been playing well, but what I would say is, like I say, their form is not very good, and their final game of the season was a defeat to Southampton, who are, of course, playing in this other game. So I look at this now. I look at Norwich. Norwich have had some good results, albeit not great results over the last few weeks, where I've been talking about them not being a lot of wins, Norwich have had a lot of draws. So they've not been losing games, but they have been drawing games. And when I look at this now, I look at the head-to-head. -head. Leeds did win both games when these side played earlier in the season, but they were both close contests. And like I say, Leeds haven't been at the level they were when they played Norwich earlier on in the season. So as things stand right now, I am going to go for a 1-1 draw, taking the game to Ellen Road level where... I probably would expect Leeds to then go on and win. But like I say, with these championship playoffs, anything is possible. And I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw in the opening game. As soon as that game finishes, I believe this game will finish at like 2 o'clock. And then the other game will just immediately kick off at 2.15. It is West Bromwich Albion and Southampton. And again, like I said, both teams going into this really off form. But Southampton are going to be going into it off the back of that win against Leeds. So... Big result for them in their last game going into this. That's going to seriously boost their confidence going into it. In the head-to-heads, like with the game previously, Southampton won both matches against West Brom earlier in the season. But again, narrow affairs. So it's going to be tight again. I would expect both teams to score. I think, like I say, I would expect both teams to score in both semi-finals over the course. Of what I mean is I would expect all four teams to score in both of their respective games. So... Again, I think it's going to be close. But like I say, I think Southampton have just got that little bit of extra momentum going into this game off of the Leeds win. Yes, their run has not been great. But that little thing just sways it in favour of Southampton, in my opinion. I'm going to go for 2-1 to say to Southampton. They, in my opinion, will be taking the lead back into the home leg. And look, West Brom are a good side on their day. They have had a fantastic second half of the season. I'm pretty sure they were way out of it at the start of the season and brought themselves right back into contention. So, like I say, really, really tough games to call this. That's why I want to do these predictions, just to sort of give my knowledge of what I believe has happened recently and what I think is going to happen. We're going to see 1-1 for Norwich and Leeds, 
1-2 for West Brom and Southampton. And both sides will be finally poised going into the second legs taking place next week. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. And obviously, if you missed my Premier League predictions for all the games taking place today, tomorrow and Monday, you can check that video out in the top of your screen right now. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I'll be back tomorrow with my reaction to Manchester United Arsenal. Oh, God.